Happy St. Patty's Day, everyone. Um, I'm just gonna show you how to make my drunken chicken, and it's really super easy. So anybody can do this. Basically, you just take a chicken, make sure you rinse it off. Um, take if, if your chicken comes with the um, neck and liver and everything like and heart stuck in inside of it, make sure to get that out before you do this. Transfer it after it's rinsed into a super large and especially tall kettle like that. I'm just gonna wash my hands really quick. I'm super picky about handling meat. I always wanna make sure that my hands are especially clean. So anyway, once your chicken is in there, then you are going to get two of your favorite beers. Always, of course, have to have a drink. And then, when it's nice and overflowing like that, you go ahead and put those two beers inside the pot over your chicken. Now, the fun part is we are going to bring this to a boil um, after your beer is nice and kind of bubbling there on the chicken we're going to put it in the sink and cover it just to the point where it reaches the top of the bird with water so you're adding some water to that beer just right when it reaches this one that is covered, you want to make sure that the chicken is completely covered by the water. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and bring that to a boil and boil it for 30 minutes. boil that for 30 minutes, 30 minutes, and then as soon as um, it has boiled for exactly 30 minutes, we are going to turn the stove off, and you let it sit there for until the, the water or the broth is kind of room temperature. It's usually about two hours. It can be up to three hours depending on um, your kind of like oven, you know, how your stove is, how big your pot is, how big your chicken is, etc. But when it's actually room temperature enough to where you can handle the meat itself, we're going to take the chicken out, take the skin off, and that meat is going to be so juicy and so moist. You can use it for chicken pot pie, which is what I'm going to make with it. You can also use that meat for stir fries. You can use it for um, sandwiches, uh, like chicken salad sandwiches. You can basically use it for anything. Um, <clears throat> it's just great, moist, very moist, and um, flavorful chicken. And it's, and it's unseasoned, so whatever you season it with, like you could do a sweet and sour stir fry, you could do teriyaki stir fry with vegetables, with it, um, really just guys, you could do chicken lasagna, you could do chicken spaghetti, you could do anything, you could do chicken tacos, excellent for chicken tacos. So go ahead and um, again, you just rinse your chicken off, then pour two beers over it, and don't forget to take a sip of the beer, because that's the important part <laughs> that makes it a fun process and then go ahead and um, cover it just over the top with water. Bring it to a boil, boil for exactly 30 minutes. Shut the 
go off, but leave your lid on. Let it go down to room temperature and your meat will be perfect every time. Thank you.